like to welcome uh, two more special guests, two members of the mini design team who had uh, a significant input into the design of, of the new original. First of all, the director of BMW Group Design is Adrian Van Hoydonk, and mini chief of design, Anders Warmer. Here they are. Welcome, thanks for coming. Thank you, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Must, must, must be a fantastic opportunity to, to get to design an, an iconic vehicle like this, but probably a lot of pressure and a big challenge as well, yeah? Well, it is, but uh, you know, when you do car design, you never have to grow up, and uh, we, we count ourselves lucky that we are able to make our hobby into our profession, and we love this brand, and we love the design for that. Brilliant. Well, guys, I'm going to leave you the floor, and please tell us a bit about this wonderful car. Okay, yeah. In, in very brief terms, in a couple of minutes, we will take you through uh, the thoughts and ideas that went into this car. Uh, as you know, or as you just heard, uh, Mini started in 1959. It was designed, or rather engineered, as a very clever, small car, uh, a small car to uh, transport for people. But very quickly after its launch, uh, it became a cult object. It became a very, very stylish icon, and it was loved by people all over the world. And now, um, more than 50 years later, uh, I think it's safe to say that very few car concepts survived this long or became so popular. So yes, indeed, uh, it is a big responsibility to design uh, the next uh, new icon, that is true. Uh, in 2001, though, uh, the MINI design team, I think, already did a great job uh, capturing uh, the spirit uh, of what was once uh, just one car and now has become a brand. Uh, MINI is uh, definitely uh, aimed for people that love life and like to show that. Uh, and for this generation of car, uh, of the, the new Mini, uh, the vision was uh, to make it uh, even a little bit more luxurious, uh, a little bit crisper, sharper on the outside and in the inside, and pack it full with the latest technology that uh, our customers crave today. How the team did that, I think uh, Anders can, can give you a quick run through. Anders, please. I'd love to tell you a little bit about this design. It is a very special moment for me, I think, uh, it, is, it was mentioned, it is sort of a special thing to be able to work on this kind of a car, and there was a lot of attention that went into the designing of this car. Uh, the important thing is that when you see the Mini in the front view, the way it came to, out towards you just before, you have to remember the media view has to be iconic. You have to remember Mini is so important to so many people that in the front view, when you see the grill, you see the round headlights, this is what you're supposed to see immediately as an icon. On the other hand, we've taken these two icons, both of them, and taken a little bit further. The grille in the lower part is now integrating the bumper beam. And that is actually an echoing of where we came from in the past. The original Mini, 1959, had a larger grille. And we're actually reintroducing that on this design here with the integration of the somewhat larger grille. In the front, also, you see the round headlights. For me, such an important icon that you have round headlights from a Mini, and now with LED technology. You see the daytime running light with LED, and I think it's super important that these icons are rooted in tradition, but at the same time full of the latest technology. In the side view of the car, and I guess you'll have an opportunity afterwards to walk a little bit around the car, I brought some images here on the wall so you can see it in the pure side view. Very quick word on that side view of the car also immediately recognizable as an icon in my view. You see the red body, the greenhouse, and then the contrast roof, in this case a white roof. Also that is an icon when you see the car on the road, immediately recognize it. The car has gotten a little bit longer as far as the wheelbase, which means a little more interior volume. But we've also introduced some crisp lines Adrian was mentioning before, over the front wheel, over the rear wheel, and in the lower part of the door. These are New design features and that I believe help set up the car even better in the way it sits on the road and that's so important to us. You see a car, how it sits on the road is very um, of a huge importance. In the rear view, you will see that it will be also the iconic view. You see the two vertical taillights and you also see the round elements inside of these taillights. First view, mini immediately recognizable with also here a couple of crisp lines around the tail light that then take it into this I, I believe new and innovative version. Yeah still very recognizable as a mini very very compact no car company can do overhangs this short uh, it looks like it's meant to go fast and, uh, and give you fun while doing that and it will 
In the interior, of course, uh, you sit incredibly close to the road. Uh, designing the interior for a Mini is about being very, very clever in a very small space. Uh, we have improved uh, the ergonomics and the functionality in the interior of this car. You'll find the switch gear where you think it, uh, it should be. Uh, we, of course, retained uh, a large center instrument. Uh, and you know that in the original Mini, that was the only instrument that was there. In today's cars, with internet connectivity, we need to offer a little bit more. So that round instrument now is where you will find all the entertainment and navigation functions. And you will even uh, be able to find a head-up display in this generation of the car. But it doesn't stop there, does it, Anders? In the interior, the experience is not just the graphics, but it's also the materials, the materials that you feel. And we have taken the interior on this design to another level. The dashboard has a very soft feeling to it. You have also a nice acoustic inside of the car, great acoustic insulation in the car. And that translates in all the use of material, the way we designed the door panels, the center console, all these features. But maybe a highlight for me personally is the way we've worked around some designs for the seats. We'll have an array of seat materials, from tartan that is obviously based on the British heritage, also to something that's very dear to my heart, which is the, the word sustainability. We actually have a seat made out of sustainable materials, and that is part of the range, and I believe that's what makes me so so important to this world, rooted in tradition, but also with new innovative solutions. Yeah, so with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we can conclude very quick uh, run through to the design. We're here for you for the remainder of the evening, more than happy to show you the car, and I hope that in the near future you will be able to get a chance to experience the car on the road for yourself. Um, I wish you a very, very pleasant evening with us here tonight. Thank you very much.